Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about Salesforce Spring 24 release and uh, that is a uh, Apex feature that is UUID Universally Unique Identifier. This is a new system class so we will see all the methods regarding this class and also you know how to implement this class inside the Apex. So if you want to learn something new so please like, share, comment and also subscribe the channel for more updates and never we miss any kind of update from my side so you can turn on the bell icon for more updates. So let's get started without any further delay. So you can watch this video until end if you want to learn something new. So here I just opened my Salesforce hour, so you can see this is my Salesforce hour. But let me introduce some, you know, like key points about this UUID. Salesforce Spring 24 release introduces a significant update for the Apex developer. The availability to generate version 4 UUID, that is universally unique identifier. These UUID are created using a cryptographically strong, you know, pseudo random number generated ensuring unique identifier for your Salesforce object. So here I will show you how to use it. So understanding the UUID class. So this UUID class in Apex is your code to your generating and working with the UUID. So there is a, some methods inside this class. So first is let me show you the like random one. Okay. So random is the method inside this, uh, you know, uh, UUID class. UUID. Random UUID. Okay. So it's generated random UUID. So this is the first method. Second method we have like uh, uh, equals. So this equals like equals and you have to pass the OBJ. So this method basically used to compare the UID instance with another object. And the third method is that is hash code. So hash code here, you can see the hash code and this is the hash code here. This is the method and that this method is written the UID hash code. The fourth method is that is from the string. So let's say from the string here and you have to pass like another string inside this method. So this method basically used to create a UUID instance from a string representation. So we will see one by one this method inside this video. So don't skip any part of this video. So here last method is a to string. So basically uh, this method basically used for you know convert a unique identifier instance to a, its a string representation. So how say in the action? So let me show you. So let me show you the first method that is random UID. So first of all you have to create you know and you have to use that class that is this is the new class inside system namespace. So you can use this you know uh, this uh, class directly here or you can use like system dot uid something like that. okay so no need to worry about this system right now because it's a salesforce uh, you know instance so system is by default append here okay so no need so here let me uh, add the you know instance or let me create the instance of this class so here like a random uuid something like that or you can make it like uid equal to then you have to use UUID dot and that is a random UUID method like this. So once you write this, you know, and you have to create this instance with uh, this class. So just you have to do one thing, just you can print, uh, you know, this uh, instance here. So under the system dot D1, let me add this uh, like a random, something like a random UUID colon colon and then you have to use this one. So it's a random, random. So just let me copy this instance name, paste it here like this. And let me change this checkbox that is open now. Let me execute this code. Once you execute this code, it's automatic generate the UUID that is uniquely uh, identifier. Okay. And based on this unique identifier, uh, universally unique identifier, you can use it anywhere as you want so once you clicked on this debug and please focus so here this is the unique added UUID this highlighted area that is UUID so you can use this UUID based on your need so this is the first method we already discussed that is random UUID now let's understand the second method and this second method is like convert UUID to a string so how to do that 
Uh, I will show you here. Uh, we can use this variable uh, all over the method. So here, just you have to use another method. Let me add comment here. And this is the first method that is random UUID. So random UUID method. Okay. So this is the first method we already seen. Let me create the second method. And let's see in the Excel. So here, the second method name is like uh, convert UID to a string. So how to convert to, uh, this uh, UID to a string? Very simple. Just you have to uh, use, uh, let's say, UUID to a string. So we have to use the method is to a string. Okay. So how to use this method? Like to a string. So you have to use this method. So how to use? Very simple. Just you can create any string instance like a string class UU ID str something like that equal to and this is my random UID we already created this one so we can use here and after that you have to use like to the string okay like this and after that you can print it so let me add the system dot debug here like system dot debug and after that you can use let's say UID str variable like this and you can print it here okay and here let me add some space so this uid here again this is a random uid and we, uh, we we are going to convert this random uid into the string using two string method so let me execute these two method here at a time and once you execute this method immediately you can open your debug log here and once you open the debug log you will be see the output of this you know classes so immediately you can check this is the first one here you can see this is the random UID coming from random UID and second one is a string here you can see a string so both are same but uh, you can use if you need like the UID to a string so you can use two string method okay so this is all so let me open again and let's see the next method that is we can create like a UID from a string so suppose you have to you already have like some string and you want to convert that string to UUID. So how to do that? So we can use third method that is, you know, like uh, uh, from a string, from a string method. So this is the from the string method here. So we have to use this method. So how to use this method? Very simple. Just you have to do one thing here, uh, like a UUID, because I want to convert this string to UUID. That's why I'm using this UUID from str okay like str equal to and then uuid dot and then you have to use from a string method and under this method you have to pass that string so we have this string let me copy it paste it here and once you paste it here now you can print this one so system dot debug and here we have to print like from a string something like that okay and just you can print this variable all the related method regarding this class you can try yourself and uh, that is very simple just uh, use like this if you need this kind of you know like cryptography or you know crypto security about this uh, new class inside uh, this uh, spring 24 release so you can use it that is uh, cryptographically strong to show the random number generator class okay so once you add this one let me execute again and let's see the in the hexen so here once you execute it now you can open the debug log and then definitely you can see my uid into the uh, you know here you can see this is a random one so this is a random uid first our output and just focus in this one this is the random uid this is the string uid and this is from string uid so three outputs here you can see right so you can use another method that is like equals or you know like hash code you can use any method as you want so it's up to you so this is how you can implement this uh, you know new class inside your salesforce or in spring 24 release so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so you can like share comments uh, subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So till then, bye bye, take care, see ya. Thank you for watching guys.